COVID-19 is primarily transmitted through respiratory droplets of infected people by direct contact or contact with contaminated surfaces. Once someone is infected with the virus, it takes an average of five to six days to develop symptoms. However, that can take as long as 14 days, during which time the infected person can be contaminating others. As of the pathophysiology of COVID-19, angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 was identified as the receptor that the virus utilizes to infect host cells. The spike proteins present in the virus membrane bind to ACE2, allowing it to enter the host cell through endocytosis. Once inside the cell, the virus uses the cellular organelles to replicate and release more viruses that will infect surrounding cells. Angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 is mainly present in lung, heart, ileum, kidney, and bladder tissue, but the lung epithelial cells are the main target of SARS-CoV-2, namely type 2 pneumocytes in the alveoli. Type 2 pneumocytes are alveolar cells responsible for the production of surfactant, which is the substance responsible for reducing surface tension and preventing the alveoli from collapsing. Viral replication will injure these cells, leading to apoptosis and the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, thus leading to the activation of the innate immune system. Inflammation of the alveoli will reduce gas exchange, leading to the consequent feeling of breathlessness, and it will trigger nerve endings in the lungs to initiate the cough reflex. This alveolar cell damage and inflammation is also known as pneumonia. Pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-1 and tissue necrosing factor alpha will increase vascular permeability, which allows for the recruitment of more immune cells. But this increase in vascular permeability leads to fluid leakage into the lungs and pulmonary edema occurs, which further decreases gas exchange. Also, interleukin-1, tissue necrosing factor alpha, and interleukin-6 are pyrogens meaning that they will induce fever. Furthermore, the damaged type 2 pneumocytes stop producing surfactant. Without surfactant, the alveoli collapse and gas exchange is not possible. This collection of fluid in the alveoli, together with alveolar cell damage, alveolar inflammation, and alveolar collapse can lead to what is called acute respiratory distress syndrome, where the lungs cannot provide the body with enough oxygen. This is a life-threatening condition and is the main cause of death in COVID-19 patients. It is worth noting here that this is only a simplified schematic of how SARS-CoV-2 affects the body and all its mechanisms of action are not included in this video. Coronavirus disease, or COVID-19, is the name of the disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The SARS-CoV-2 virus is a new strand of the coronavirus family and stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. This video will give a brief introduction to coronaviruses and explain the pathophysiology behind COVID-19, as well as highlighting its symptoms with the information available as of the 24th of May 2020. The coronaviruses are a family of viruses that have this name due to their crown-like appearance in electron micrographs. They are divided into four genera, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta, 
but only alpha and beta coronaviruses infect mammals. In humans, these viruses cause respiratory diseases such as the common cold and at times even gastrointestinal diseases. These infections are usually mild and will resolve without the need of further medical treatment. However, some of these viruses, namely beta coronaviruses, may cause severe conditions such as the 2002 Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, the 2012 Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, and now the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, responsible for COVID-19. It is believed that this virus originated from bats and was passed on to humans in December of 2019 in Wuhan, China. As of today, there are a total of 5.27 million cases worldwide.